Welcome to the Faith and Work Hour. I'm your host, Anthony Knight. This is my co-host, Elder Adrian McBride. Before we get started, we're going to ask uh, Adrian to bring us in on a morning prayer. Oh, amen. Holy and gracious Father, we just say thank you for the laying down. Thank you for raising us up this morning. Father God, we say thank you, Father God, for the ones, Father God, that are um, present, Father God, here, Father God, that are making this possible, Father God. We just give you all the glory and all the thanks. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, that's how we roll. First of all, I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about myself. I'm Anthony Knight. I've been living in Troy for over 30 years. I uh, graduated from Pike County in 1994, played football in 93 and 94. Um, just didn't have a mindset with a small guy. Uh, but if I had the size I had now, oh my God, what would I have done? Um, speaking of football, I want to give congrats to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl. The only problem I had with that is I didn't like that flag that was thrown at the end of the game. Um, I would have loved to see Jalen um, had an opportunity to drive his team downfield for a winning touchdown or a time field goal. And Adrian, I know you watched the game, so tell me what your perspective well, is. Well, by me being a Miami fan, I just said uh, it was a good Super Bowl. I enjoyed mm -hmm. watching the game, so hey, it didn't go my way because Miami wasn't there. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. well we, have, we all can't have it the way we want it all the time. Um, what we wanted to first talk about is um, we are a nonprofit group called Let's Talk About It Ministry. And what we do is help the community. And in order for us to get to the point where we can get government help, we had to first get the EIN number, which is the Employment Identification yeah, yeah, Number. Yeah. And that's and the only thing that is, it identifies the organization to the IRS. And you know when we got the EIN number, we had to apply for the 501c3, oh, yeah. which was more, it, let, let me let me say this. It's not a fast process. It took us three months and a little bit more to get the 501c3, but it's worth it. And basically the 501c3 is, it uh, allows us to get char charitable contributions and whoever gives us those contributions can, it's a tax write-off. Yeah, tax write-off. And Take that is something vital. Now it, it was stressful now. Oh, really? It was stressful. You didn't, you didn't think it was going to happen. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a slow process, but it's worth it at the end mm -hmm. because at the end, we got what we, we, got what we came yeah. set out to accomplish. And that's what it's about, staying focused on your goal. Have a goal in mind mm -hmm. and staying focused on that. So, yeah. But yeah. having good people like you, Vidal, mm -hmm. Tinker, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, right. and LaVisha helps right. make this possible. Keep pushing you. So That's yeah. Right. And speaking of that, we want to talk about our numbers because we know that no matter how good your organization is, you're only as good as the people that back oh, you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And oh, we have yeah. a great supporting cast. Uh, without those board members, me and Adrian happen. could not do what we do. Don't happen. Because don't they are so vital to what we want to do and it's so vital to uh, our success. Yeah. So we just want to take time out to say thank all our board members for the contribution they have given because it's not it has not went un, unappreciative. We want to take time out also to thank some of the people that helped us along the way. Uh, we want to first of all thank House Daddy because he introduced yeah. us to this. That's the first thing. We want to yeah. thank Trace Parker. We want to thank Frankie. We want to thank Doug Kitchens. We want to thank uh, Steven Sanders, Derek, because without Sanders. them, <laughs> All of them from Wiley Sanders. Yeah. Without them, we couldn't do what we do. So we want to just say thank you. And we want to give thanks to your brothers, your brothers too, yeah. because they was a big co uh, contributor yeah. also. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and announce them out. Well, all the art what you see is by Tayona McBride. So we want to thank her for all the work. That, even art what you see that we have done, you'll see it from Tayona. Yeah. So, Amen. Yeah, we definitely want to give thanks to everybody, to my father, uh, John Barr, home improvement. We say it's no job is too small. So yeah, we give we got a lot of people to thank in the, in this TV station Amen. for having us. So yeah, the radio station that we was on this morning. WTBF yeah. was so, very, they so, very, yeah, very man, vital yeah, for us. Yeah. And all for all the donors, you know, everybody man. that donate and believe in this vision with us. So that's 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 a good thank you because without them, you know, hey, that money and work flowing in, we won't be doing a lot of stuff. Won't be no people, money flowing in. <laughs> the people that we helping, man, oh, man, all the stuff we doing. 
like packs for kids, you Amen. know, all that stuff. Like JRL, uh, they they are big. Them the one who brought what fifty book bags. Oh, they brought fifty book bags yeah. that had school supplies. So they was a big contribution from them. Yeah. I want you to tell our listening audience about when we delivered the bags, the joy that the oh, places that we yeah, went to and, and the surprise that, that that what we was doing. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm gonna say this right here. You remember this? The lady that the uh, circle kids, the circle K by Water Center. What's yeah, that? yeah. Circle circle K? K. I'd be saying circle kangaroo, K. all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but you know, we went in there. You know, she she come from I think New Orleans or Mississippi somewhere. Mm -hmm. where some, we had uh, uh, some bad weather, and uh, she mm -hmm. came here Mississippi. If I'm not Mississippi, mistaken. Okay, Mississippi. Okay, yeah. Mississippi. And, and to help her, that brain joy to us. That that right alone brought joy. Somebody we don't know. Somebody going through something, and and. We was able to supply her kids, two well, two kids, right? Two kids with with, with some book bag. And reason we say pass for kids, cause we pack the book bag. We don't just give an empty book bag away. All your school supplies in that book bag. So okay. yeah, we just definitely want to thank. But we want to thank everybody, and we had a good time there. Oh, we had I had a, great a good time. time. We had a great time. Good time there. And it's it, it, it's it's even better when the community comes out to support. Oh you. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like I know, without oh, yeah. the community support. We don't go anywhere. Don't go nowhere. We need the community yeah. support yeah. to to move on. And 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 I want you to go in kind of details about when we donated to the churches that you went to. Oh yeah, Tell oh we got, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Cause we uh, donated to. Oh man, that was that was all right right there. Yeah, right, no, <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Yeah, so yeah, we had some churches that uh, came to us and said, "Hey, I heard about you. Y'all were giving out book bag, or could we get some book bag?" You know, one of the ladies we gave, one of the churches we gave, it was a, not a church, but it was a um, organization that deal mm -hmm. with uh, kids, young kids. Uh, yeah. I forgot the age group and called Flowers. I forget mm -hmm. I forget the name, but it's Elder Hawkins out of Greensboro, North Carolina. And we donated $200 to her mm -hmm. so she can supply book bags. So that was, yeah, that. That, that that's a good thing. Good. And that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what this is all about. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk because, about it. Because yeah. uh, you know, like I know, um, at one point in time, our parents did the best they could. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you just yeah. fall short sometimes. Yeah, and yeah. You want, yeah. And you and we don't have, we, and we don't have the support system in place yeah. to help us, to help them. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. it's not all about what we can do. It's about what the community can do. Yeah, not yeah. all about what we can do. Yeah, I, I think that that is important. You know, me and you come together the, the, for this right along here, yeah. the faith and work out mm -hmm. to to let people know to help uh, promote what we're doing. That support that we get, That's and it. I'm a firm believer in what me and you doing is good. That's it. But it's other people that got related uh, relatives, friends, mm -hmm. or whoever can start their own organization. That's it. To to do things like this. And we able to, we willing to help anybody in anything they doing. If, if, I'm talking about whatever y'all got, y'all need a, need support from us, we can do it. So Amen. yeah, I, I, I love, I, I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm excited. I love what we doing and we do this all through the year. It's all not a break. Year. Being truck drivers is mm. still able to maneuver like this. You know, you know, it is, you know, just it's just amazing that mm -hmm. when you put your mind to something, if you really want to help people, you it, it, you it can, can do it. it. You can do it. You can't always say I don't have the money to That's start it. a program or I don't know that thought, that idea. Use that. That's it. What it is putting putting uh, worth the action. Yeah, put that, worth the action. Worth the action. So That's so it. let's let's put these words to action. So yeah, oh yeah, I appreciate you, brother Knight. You all right? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you both been driving trucks over 23 years. Yep, We've been yep, there 23 yep. years. 23 years. And the only way we could do what we're doing now, we have to have the support of Wally Sanders oh, to be yeah, able to work yeah. around our schedule. Yeah, yeah. So oh, man. Oh, we, we couldn't do anything no. if they didn't, because we've been with companies that didn't support the outside work that we was doing. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, wanted you to only focus on them. And not only does Wally Sanders support us, they help us. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that is that oh, is real yeah. big. They, they don't because, you know, we did our path for kids. You know, they had that whole trailer over there. Oh man. It was, you know, we we uh they were putting uh book bags and stuff in that trailer. That's it. And that make us we hit with the bicycles and That's stuff it. like that. So yeah, it's it's a it's a it's, group effort. It's called give and take. You're right, it's a group yeah, effort. It's yeah. give and take. You can't always get. You gotta yeah. give. It's, it's something you have to give yeah, back yeah, yeah. in order to get. 
Because this is called the faith. So we, we do believe in that. That's it. And we believe in the work part of the faith. What does the Bible say about faith without work? I know. Can't, can't do it. Can't, can't do it. Can't do it. You both of them go hand in hand. Hand in hand. hand in so hand. we have to be there. But let's give them a, a little about what we do. Okay. We go to the, the three bricks. Okay. Which is educational awareness, physical and mental sustainability, and attainable living. Yeah. Now, let's tackle the educational awareness part that and that's what Pack for Kids does. Yeah, yeah. We we help those who can't help themselves. Because the one thing that I didn't I didn't and still don't like is a kid going to school without proper supplies. Oh yeah. That is the worst feeling that a child can never get. Yeah. Let me say this right here while you're going. Go ahead. Right there. And, and it ain't so much on the parent. You know, it. we deal with a lot of teachers. That's it. That they supply. That's how we got involved in the school. That's right. Because a lot of teachers trying to supply. You know, we help the kid with a coat and a pair of shoes. That's it. You know, so it ain't just so much uh, with the parents. It's just so many kids. And, you know, you got these teachers working with these kids all the time. That's it. And they getting attached to these kids. That's what they see that. So, yeah, we want to be a support to them. We That's have it. been doing a good thing. So, yeah, these teachers need help in there. That, mm -hmm. that push. Because without these educational people that helping us, oh, man, it will be hard. For me in school, I know I had uh, teachers that, that stayed on my back and pushed it. me and, and, you know, that I didn't want to do but made me do it. So, exactly. you know, and we don't want to discourage the teachers. That's it. You know, from, hey, look, I don't have a supply. Mm. I'm tired of going through these things. So we have these stories. That's it. And so what can, what can we do as individual, as a group, what can we do to make it a little bit easier for you? Let's tell, I want you to tell, I'm, I'm glad you brought that okay. up. When you, remember the, uh, the lady in North Carolina we helped, that she was spending her own money buying school supplies. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we stepped in and helped. Yeah, yeah, that was the book, the book drive, right? Book drive. Book yeah. drive, yeah, yeah. And when you got kids, and this is the worst thing for a kid, is you go to school and everybody else got their supplies and you don't have yours. You yeah. feel left out. Yeah, yeah. And once you feel left out, you have a tendency not to want to do the work. Yeah. And once you don't get that, then you start falling behind. And people think they just lazy or they just don't yeah, want to do work. Yeah, yeah. That is discouraging oh, yeah, yeah. to not to have the necessary supplies to be successful. Yeah. So oh, what yeah. do we do? We try to supply. Now, we can't help everybody. Yeah. But we'll help many as we can. Yeah. But with the community, we can do more. We can do more with the community help. So if somebody want to help us, how do, what do they go to? How do, um, they can reach us through our email. Email at support at let's talk about it dot or and let's talk about it ministry. <laughs> let's talk about it ministry at support support let's talk about it ministry dot org. Or you can call us at three three four seven two two zero eight one three. Uh somebody will always answer the phone. Now I can yep. promise you that. Yep, and you can zell us at a night at let's talk about it ministry dot org. And you can go up on the let's talk about it hashtag dollar sign let's talk about it, uh, and that way we can get donation. Or you can see one of us on somewhere, and we'll do it too. That too. So yeah, make 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 help us make this right here happen. Now the one thing I wanted to do, and what we do in education awareness is book fast. We we want to make sure that we oh, let yeah. everybody know it's not one. It's not a one time thing. Yeah. It's a year round thing. Yeah. yeah. Because kids eat more than one time a day. Amen. We want to make Amen. sure that no child goes home. Hungry, yeah, and but we know the realistic part is some do, yeah. So oh yeah, we have to really rely on the teachers, yeah, to inform us, yeah, so we can help, yeah. Because teachers only have a certain amount of budget, uh, where well, they got a budget they have, yeah, they yeah. run by, so they can't do everything, yeah. We can help, yeah. We can, help. so can still we want to help, you know. PTA me, that's um, it. We got to be able to go and volunteer at these schools. There's a lot of things that we can do because the one thing we don't want to do, you know, we don't been in school, we don't been little age kids, yep. and this bullying now is a little bit different when we came. Up. Uh, really? You know, they got a lot, lot different. And Cyber you know, bullying. Yeah, now. we don't want to be, you know, where the kids feel like they don't matter. That's so that's exactly. why we want to come in and do programs and stuff like one of our bricks. He's talking about now mm -hmm. is the education awareness is to. Let that kid know that he matter. Let That's that it. child know that he matter, or she That's matter. It. You know, cause I think I think that did play a big role in me going through school and stuff. That somebody showed that they That's they it. believed in what I'm doing, and that's what helps us as adults. Yeah. If me and you only believe in this, how this gonna go? It ain't going nowhere. 
But we gotta get other people to believe in what we're doing. That's it. To help us. So yeah, we, we appreciate this right here. Now we we also in the education world offer mentorship. That if somebody wants to have somebody to talk to, we want to make sure that we are available yeah. for them to talk to them. Yeah. So we want to oh, yeah. make sure of that. And uh, I know for a fact my mama was a very good provider, just like I know yours yeah, yeah. was. Amen. But just because you're working don't mean you're living. See that? There you Sometimes go. you are struggling. It's not yeah. no cause of your own. Yeah. Maybe you just don't make enough. Yeah. Or maybe just fell short that week. So if, if we care about the community much as we say we do, then we should put our words to action yeah. and get oh, out there and put, do what we're supposed there you to go. do. There you go. And um, that's that's what we do as far as educational awareness. We want to definitely make sure that um, we we, we, we want to start the book drive back because we want kids yeah, to be yeah. able to start reading. Yeah. And when they have books to read, and, and and I know how discouraging it is when you go to a book fair and you don't have the money to pay for the books. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did that discourage you not to read? Or did yeah. it discourage you to be resentful now? Yeah. yeah. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to make the book fair free. We'll take the bill up on Yeah, that. we'll take the bill. And that way they were all they everybody will have the same opportunity to be able to pick books they want and read. I remember when I was going to school, um, and I remember some kids we, we didn't have the best. None yeah. of us did back then. And I remember that when I didn't have the proper school supplies, I lost interest in what the teacher was doing. I wasn't paying Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, okay. and that's what we trying to, uh, we don't want that. But when I had the exact same supplies everybody else had, I thrived. Yeah. Because I, I knew I was on evil playing field. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't look like I was pushed to the outside. Yes, somebody really, yeah. And some yeah. people do feel like that they push to the wayside. Yeah. Just like you were talking earlier about getting this right along here. We ran into some issues we never even knew nothing about. That's right. We never, we were just doing this out of a uh, hobby. That's it. You think about doing it out of a hobby, and then you're going into, hey, you got to get. A EIN number. Oh, What's the word? A EIN I number. I didn't have a clue hey, what EIN. You, you, you know, you know all these different things. Yeah. People tell you you got to have. We think, hey, hold on for a minute. Now you know, man, it it gonna be hard for y'all to do this out of y'all pocket. We be doing it out of our pocket. Like we didn't know no better. Didn't know in, we didn't know we can get support. People no. know what we're doing. We thought this is what uh, 2016, right? That's it. 2016. And, and you know, and people, every time we, hey, y'all need to do commercials, y'all need to mm -hmm. advertise, y'all need to do this. Huh? What, what? Wait, how <laughs> you know? we gonna go so, back? So, you know, think about people pushing us That's it. to get to to right here, like Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Pushing us to do this part That's right on here. So, you know, we, man, TV, what I know about being on the TV? I just wanna help somebody. <laughs> but you did have a vision not too long ago. Oh you yeah, said yeah. We would be on TV. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you know what, Fred? Because I, I, I knew, I really do believe in uh, Jesus. I really do, Amen. I, and I believe that prayer do change, change things. Amen. And so, you know, coming to you saying, "Hey, man, I got, I got something I want to run by." You remember? You know, I, I like telling this story right here. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when I was talking to you one day, we driving trip, mind mm -hmm. our own business. Talking about going to church. We have no way to go to church. No way to get into church. So we come, we drive to church. So this this right along here, me coming to you and you say, hey, I want I want to, what can we do? How can we do that? I thought that was a, a good thing that we're doing to, to help somebody to take your bonus check. Amen. And help another family. That's right. Not worry about nothing but helping and then people pushing us to this. So yeah, man, this right here came a long way. What do we say about our bonus? We said the bonus ain't for our raise. Yeah, you the told me that. I, I, I tried to push back on that. I said the raise is one for us. Yeah, it was for the I said, hold on for a minute. Let me think about this now. I don't wait a whole year for this uh, bonus, and now you telling me that I got to go donate my whole bonus check. But it was nice. Oh yeah, it was worth it. It, 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 it was very, very, very worth it. But you know, hey, just but but about you pushing me. Hey, I got plans. I'm finna buy this. Yeah. I'm finna do this. I'm gonna catch up on some deals. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah. But then you come tell me. So yeah, pushing each other. You know, that's right. We get on each other's nerves, but we also push each other that's to it. doing these things right here. That's it. Well, we're gonna take a commercial break, but do not go anywhere. We will be right back with the Faith and Work Hour. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Some companies may tell you that the grass is greener. At Wiley Sanders, we know the grass is greener. Been in business since 1959. That's not green. It's not green. Come to Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines. Now, this is green grass. This is green money. $1,000 sign on bonus. Blue Cross Blue Shield. 401k. We match it up to 4%. Get your home regular. Good equipment. Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We do what we say. Come join the best today. Welcome to Wiley Sanders Truck Line State of the Art Bunkhouse. Let me show you. Do you like it cold? Then set it cold. Got the spouse with you? We've got you covered. Sit back in the State of the Art Bunkhouse and watch your favorite TV show. Relax, have a good time. After a long day, you can come in the State of the Art Bunkhouse and get a great hot shower. Look how nice they are. At Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, we keep it clean for you. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. Welcome back to the Faith and Work Hour with your, your host, Anthony Knight, and my co-host, Adrian McBride. Um, I got a few announcements I want to take time out to go over. The Goshen High School PTO is hosting the Eagle Strut 5K Fun Run Walk. It's on Saturday, April the 1st, 2023. It's at 9 a.m. with a kids' runs to follow. It'll be at Goshen High School, located at 286 Eagle Circle, Goshen, Alabama. Pre-registration pre ends March the 10th. Adults $30, kids $15. Registration check-in day of the race is 7.30 a.m. Fees for adults is $35 for adults, $20 for kids. Forms may be picked up at Goshen High School in Goshen or at Brooks Salon and Spa in Troy. Contact Keisha at 334-672-6804 or Janet at 334-558-5693 with any questions. The annual hard walk will be on February 23rd, Thursday at the Troy Sportsplex. The time will be 5.30 to 7 p.m. There will be healthy foods, entertainment, a silent auction, door prizes and booths and healthy information. Please make plans to attend. Once again, it's February the 23rd on Thursday at the Sportsplex. The 28th annual Swamp Supper is here, so let's have a gobbling good time. <laughs> the cooking begins at 9 a.m. Guest speaker is Daniel Wilson, a man of God you will never forget. They're all, there's all kind of food to eat, like grilled quail, burgers, turkey, camp stew, rabbit, deer, frog legs, chicken, <laughs> bacon, fish, jambalaya, gumbalaya, I mean gumbo, salt pork, alligator, and much more. I don't know about this alligator, though, but, about right. <laughs> but come rain or shine, it's no cost. February the twenty fifth, two thousand twenty three. Tom Har Tom Harbin Farm Center, eight one six Airport Road, Laverne, Alabama three six zero four nine. Men and boys only. No alcohol beverages allowed. We'll give away a shotgun or three hundred dollars. Cool along with other prizes. Okay. I like the three hundred dollars. Yeah. I can deal with the three hundred. The shotgun I probably don't need. For more information, call Steve D. Fee at 334-508-1013 or Dennis Mosley at 334-670-1002. That's our announcements for the day. And we want to continue with uh what we stand for and why we actually care so much about kids because we hear about you mentioned something about bullying earlier we hear a lot of bullying on the cyber bullying uh, we hear a lot about um people getting bullied and kids getting bullied in school yeah. and uh, when we were going to school we didn't we didn't uh, see all this no no because everybody in our school had the same thing everybody, <laughs> everybody nobody rode the bus. That's right. <laughs> so we, we didn't, went to the county school so we yeah. didn't get that we didn't have the best shoes, as yeah. they want to say. Yeah. Everybody, all our friends were just like us. So that was no fun. If you were going to take something, you were just going to take what you already got. <laughs> yeah. So they really wanted nothing. Hand me down from your old sins. Uh, yeah. I had so many patches <laughs> on my knees. My mom just said, you know, just throw them away. We'll just get some money. <laughs> but, you know, we had a good time. Um, that was no, um, nobody looking down on nobody else. Yeah. And a lot of times, a lot of people are getting bullied because of clothes, shoes. And what they do not understand is everybody does not have money to buy the name brand. Yeah. Sometimes your parents are doing the best they can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times, people want to nitpick. 
Yeah. And want to pick on you because of you. Look, do not care. Do not worry about what people say. Amen. That's the one thing that I learned the hard way. I don't worry about what people say because they're going to talk it whether you're regardless, doing good or bad. Regardless. So it don't matter. But we want to go to our next brick. And these three bricks are our foundation of what our organization is built on. Attainable living. Attainable living has a lot to do with being able to live in a comfortable manner. Yeah. yeah. Um, like we got, we try to help elderly people who have just enough income to pay the bills. Yeah. The worst decision that you can make, in my opinion, is trying to choose whether you want to pay your light bill or eat. Yeah. yeah. That's not a decision nobody should have to should make. Should have to make. Amen. But we in a re we in the reality that we know people have to make those decisions. Yeah. So what we step in once we find those people, we try to help them. Now, what we have to do is the community has to step up with us and help us be able to perform these tasks. Because these tasks is not a, a a task that one, two, three, four, five people can do. Yeah. We got oh, yeah. a whole community that we could help. Yeah. But that's also a whole community that can help us. Too. Help us too. There you go. I so like that. I we, like that. we have to work hand in hand. And attainable living is not just paying bills. It's eating. It's saving for emergencies. Because we all know cir life, circumstances in life are going to occur. Yeah. And we have to do the best we can to make sure that we are doing our part out there. You know, there's no time to sit and relax and say, well, we done did this, it's good enough. And when in our in our organization, it's never good enough. Never. We're going to keep striving, we're going to keep keep fighting, and we're going to keep clawing until we get the necessary people in place to help everybody yeah. if we can. Now, we know we can't do it all. By ourselves. That's but we know can. in a community we can. Yeah. In yeah. a community oh, oh, we yeah. can. Oh, yeah. Um, and it said, our company is dedicated in helping those less fortunate and attain a better lifestyle. Sometimes that's all a person wants. And it? sometimes it's not always that you need something to buy something that you want. Maybe you just need just that little help yeah, to get you over just, the bump. Just a little, just that's it. Bit, yeah. And yeah, oh man, hey man, you right about that because sometimes $20 worth of gas can get you somewhere. That's right. You know, uh, just, just, you know, it may be, okay, I got an extra $20, I can get some gas. That way I don't have to go and get a loan. That's right. Those things, these things that cause me more, to more. keep me more in debt. That's so right. we just really, really, really just want to help people. And and we just need the community. We just need help, you know. We need it. Yeah. And we yeah. and the community has been great. Yeah. They have helped us. They have stood, they have stepped up when we needed them to provide, yeah. whether it's money, whether it's uh, water, the community has always yeah. stepped up, so we're really thankful for that. One, one of the things I did, I want you to talk about mm -hmm. during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You remember you went to the budget in Troy in the older folks section. Yes. But you remember the the young young man um, had lost his granddad, and that's what they were living on. Yes, like yes, the twelfth yes, grade. Yes. He getting ready to quit school. That's right. And his grandmama really didn't want him to quit school. I remember that. Yeah, and, and then you know, we stepped and we paid their bills for what three months until mm -hmm. a check start coming in to help him out because we didn't want him to quit school. So we had a, a grandparent mm -hmm. try to make a decision to want her grandson to stay in school because they were raising their grandson. That's right. And then we had a, a, a grandson that making a decision he going to have to quit school to start working. That's right. And we was able to help with that decision so they won't have to make you concentrate on school that's right you concentrate on this right along here that's right and we stepped in so that's so you just tell me about that tell, tell well me. do you remember the thing we bought them thanksgiving dinner too didn't yeah we? yeah we bought yeah. you know because it was, yeah, it was, it was during the, the holiday thing, the, the roughest thing thing i found out about that situation was that a kid has to make that decision yeah we don't want a child to have to make that decision. yeah yeah uh, you yeah. want to finish your education you want to yeah. Make yeah, sure you don't yeah. have that burden upon yeah. you. And we 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 stepped in, and 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 for the viewing audience, that money came out of our pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But God always gives back. Yeah. So when you give, He's going to give back. Yeah, yeah. Now we don't do it for that reason. Yeah. Because even when we give back, we give again. We just yeah, going to yeah, keep. Yeah, we never yeah. we never keep anything. 
our job is to provide for the community and that's what we do. Yeah. And that's what we're always gonna continue doing. Yeah. And it's just like So that's both of them bricks. That's two bricks. That's two bricks right there. Two bricks right there. That's we right. had the uh uh stable of uh, living. That's right. And we had the uh, uh, educational education, awareness, yeah, awareness and, and sustainable living. With, with that family, just those two. That's those two right there. Yeah. Now let's go to the third brick which affects that same family, physical and mental health sustainability. Yeah, yeah. Because when you don't have what you need, it, me it affects you mentally Making and physically. That you, yep. Amen, you're and, right. And a lot of times, these young people, um, you don't want to put them in a position where they have to make that decision. Yeah, yeah. We know, you got a daughter, and, I, and you can talk about this one. Um, we want to also, with the uh, education awareness, when we get, the, the 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 community to, to to step up with us. We want to give tuition now to some student that going to college that can't afford it. Okay. We was always going to put I think it was five thousand dollars. We were going to help okay. help with. Yeah. Okay. That's something that we can do once the, once we get the proper funding, we'll be yeah, able to do yeah, that. Yeah. 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 With the mental and physical health sustainability, the thing about that one is, is we want to make sure people go and get checked out. Go yeah. get your checkups. Get your checkups. Do not go years without going to the doctor because a lot of times you might look great on the outside, but it's yeah. what's on the inside that's going. If you catch it early enough, it sometimes it can be prevented, prevented, or it could be maintenance. You can you yeah. can you can live yeah. with it. But when we allow this community to go on years without getting checkups, um, I had um, a couple of my relatives die of COVID cancer. Now. Um, that's something that hasn't been found a cure for. But if we can get people to go in there early enough, we get might can catch early, it yeah, yeah. and we might can prevent it. And yeah. you know for a fact that a lot of us um, back then, and the problem about it is, is the cost. Yeah. Now that deductible don't seem like a lot, yeah. but it is when you don't have it. Yeah. When you're struggling to pay $35, $40 copay, yeah. that would deter you from going to the doctor to get checked out. We want to eliminate that. We can eliminate that with the help of the, the people that around this community. We can we can prevent some of this. Now we can't we we, yeah. we can't prevent it all. Yeah. Yeah. But we can prevent some of it. Just need the help of the person. Cause you know like we see like we ask somebody what's their primary care. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the health department the um what you call it the it's the emergency room, emergency room, and Sarah the urgent Center, care, urgent, yeah, care. urgent care. That's not your primary place. No. Find a doctor to go to. Let the doctor tell you. That's right. Don't make the decision by yourself. That's right. Let's find a doctor so we can get the check or call. Sometimes early stages catching things That's right. can help. Like my brother. Preventive maintenance. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, he just went for a routine checkup. Mm -hmm. Then they found something. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. Let's just go and get checked right. and, and do these things, and that'll help us. Um, that we don't have to go through these things. So you think about like we were talking about the family. That's it. Think about this elderly lady we're going through. Think about her losing her husband. Now her grandson finna quit school in the twelfth grade. Hmm. See, we see the physical, so I can see somebody with a broke leg, yeah. arm, or something like that. But that mental stuff we don't see. That's right. We don't know what they're holding in inside and they're being frustrated and, and don't know. They they go on, you know, on about their business. That's it. And you don't know they this why we want this right here is why we want people to come and talk to some find somebody you can talk to. Right. No, we say that all the time. Yeah. You gotta have friends. Somewhere. You gotta have friends. How, how, how you gonna do this? <laughs> you don't have nobody to talk to. Nobody. Come on, that's, it that's gotta right. be somebody you can talk to. That's right. So yeah. Yeah. I want you to speak on this, on, on the mental and physical health sustainability is the mental aspect. When you got a child, a, a, like you got a daughter to go to college, yeah. that is a lot of mental pressure. Yeah. And sometimes it's overwhelming from some kids yeah. that they like the whole world is on their shoulder. Yeah. And then we know some kids go to college, don't have, they don't have enough money to eat with. Yeah. That is oh, rough. Yeah. And and speak on, speak on about your daughter. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That, she goes that, well, she goes already in state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she LaVisha McBride. Mm -hmm. The good thing about her is that she real, real smart. Yeah. So she don't have that that 
But the things that she go through that she share with me about other kids mm-hmm. and not having, not lacking, I mean, all, all lacking and stuff, it just hurt me. So that's why we got her involved mm-hmm. to speak to the kind of, cause we, we, we don't go to school. We're not right. this age group. So she can speak to those people that's right. that that we can maybe help. And, and, right. and it's just some of the things she just shared with me. I'm just like, man. And we won't never know this stuff unless somebody tell us. That's right, that's right. And we can't put you in the right direction unless somebody tell us. Uh-huh. So, you know, we just ask him, make that phone call. What's that's his right. number? Make that phone call. 334-722-0813. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, you can follow us on YouTube. I YouTube, YouTube also. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. And let's talk about it, uh, ministry. But you know the key to, and I know you, I've been knowing you for years, and, and I know how much you love your daughters. But you can't tell me you didn't Oh, uh, <laughs> who's in Florida? I know who's in Florida. I can't tell you. I, you. I yeah, yeah, you. we joke about that a lot. But um, <laughs> it's like um, your kids have to have a support system in place. Oh yeah, yeah your parents yeah. are the best support system. Oh yeah, oh oh yeah. I've yeah. I've talked to you many times about you supporting her and uh, what she do. Yeah, and it gets expensive. Yeah, well, like your like your niece. Yes. Well, Zerica. Lazarica, Yeah. Yes. Think about which her decision she was finna make. She was going to Alabama and decided to come back to Troy State. So Troy she State. can get some help. So she can get some help. And, exactly. and you think about not having you to push her. That's it. Not having you to say that you can do this. That's right. And, and you right. Family members are a good support system. But everybody don't have that family member that support them. That's it. That's where the faith and work out will come in. That's Make that phone in. call so we can help with those situations. We can talk to you. We, we don't mind doing it. it. We do. Now the mental part, if you have some issues that dealing with mental, we can't help, but we can point you in there the right direction. We, we will do. find resources for you, that, for you that that can help yeah. you. And um, that's what that's what it's all about. It's all about caring for those yeah. who sometimes don't have nobody to, for them for, to care for them. Yeah. So oh, when yeah. we step in and, and we do some of the things we do, we love it. If we enjoy it, uh, that's enjoy. no better place to go to a school. Talk about, uh, I'm, uh, uh, you know, it just dawned on me. Talk about the pizza party you went to at Charles and Oh yeah, that was uh, the middle school. The right? middle school, yeah. Yeah, it's not the middle school, the uh, edu- uh, elementary school. Elementary yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was something that we decided to do for the teachers, yeah, uh, for the students yeah, and yeah, teachers. Yeah, so, teacher, tell me how it was uh, when you Sophia went there. White, uh, where Austin, yeah. She came to me to talk about the This was during the Christmas holiday. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. why we went to Banks till I get you to tell school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And I told her, I said, hey, we want to be part of that. What can we do to help? Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to buy. We went and bought all the pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we thank, for, thank, thank you, Little Caesar, Amen. for that discount. But we bought the pizza for those after school kids. That's right. You know, they there all day long. And, and I, I like it. I enjoyed that. We took pictures, had a told them about what we do. Mm-hmm. It was just a good time just to just to support Troy Elementary. Yes, at Troy Elementary School. That's it. In in that and they were not allowing us to come in there to do that. That's right. You know, just knowing one teacher helped us get into a school system that helped us do a whole lot of stuff. That's right. So yeah. And then you went to Banks because you know a teacher. I went to Banks and it was um Santessa. She's a middle school teacher. And what we did as an organization is we bought Christmas presents from. Yeah, yeah. And it was one of the, uh, just to, to see the joy on, on those kids' faces when we walked in. There you go. Knowing <laughs> <laughs> that uh, we was bringing, and you know the biggest surprise is, and I like what Santessa did, she didn't tell them anything. Yeah. She had uh, she had it wrapped and everything yeah. situated. Yeah. So to come in there the next day to, um, to see they see their faces and it's just amazing. Yeah. I want one more announcement. We want to make sure we bring attention to the Spring Hill uh, Volunteer Fire Department. On March third and fourth, they will be selling Boston butts for thirty dollars. Okay. Camp stew ten dollars a quart. I like that. Barbecue plates eight dollars. I really like the barbecue plates. And it said, um, and uh, that's the one thing we want to do. And when the community is doing something, we want to make sure we oh, go yeah, out and support. Yeah, yeah, we want to see, support that too. We can't just ask the community for something. Yeah. Yeah. We have to give back too, and this will and this will be ready March third at noon, and March fourth until gone. I like until that until gone. it's gone. Until it's gone. Uh, place it says pickup location Spring Hill Volunteer uh, Volunteer Fire Department, 
6973 Alabama Highway 87 in Spring Hill, Alabama. And oh, I know. Okay. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, okay, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, I know about that school, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. So you know, we we might have to make an uh, 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 We're gonna appearance have to down there <laughs> just to be supportive. But we will take one more commercial break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Wiley Sanders Strip Line, where we put God and family first. We go to Illinois. Indiana. North Carolina. South Carolina. Ohio. Arkansas. We're looking for good in dump drivers. That's right. Wiley Sanders Strip Line. 401k. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Dental plan. Hey, these wheels roll and you make money. If you're not driving one of them, you're driving at the wrong place. Wiley Sanders Strip Lines. Troy, Alabama. Fellas, where we go? Indiana. North Carolina. And South Carolina. Ohio. And Arkansas. Wiley Sanders Strip Lines. Troy, Alabama. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, the place that puts God and family first. How long you been driving for Wiley Sanders? Seven years. How long you been driving for Wiley? Six years. How many miles did you get a week? 2,500. Wow. How many miles did you get a week? 2,700. Are you in the 401k? Yes, sir. Matching at 4%? Yes. Wow. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Are y'all happy? Oh, very happy. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Welcome back to the Faith and Work Hour with your host, Anthony Knight, and my co-host, Adrian McBride. We want to talk about the people who helped us get this yeah, far. Yeah, helped us get this far. Um, and there's a few they notable. Believed, they believed in this vision. They believed in us. this vision with us. There's a, there's a few notable um, organizations yeah. that contributed. And we want to give thanks to them because without them we couldn't have put on any yeah. the walkathon uh the oh, yeah, walk the walkathon, walkathon yeah, yeah. the packs for kids um anything that we put on in troy we had help with so we want to start that we want to give thanks to walmart for their donation yeah publix in troy alabama donated uh kroger's donated um piggly wiggly has donated consistently, consistently. every one time we went to one on 231 yeah. has consistently they, they real good so do your shopping there do it <laughs> <laughs> do your shopping there and, and, and they are one of they, they are never they they welcome up every, every time. time they have we welcomed really us really appreciate Piggy Wiggly on 231 and we want to give some real good shout outs to Wiley Sanders truck line oh, yeah, because yeah, they have right. supported have us through thick and thin. Yeah. And once again, we want to thank Trace Parker, House Daddy, Steven Sanders, Frankie, Doug Kitchen, and it is Richard Ray, <laughs> and I love Kevin, Kevin Baker, <laughs> Scott Maddox, because these guys consistently work with us. They do, they do not interrupt us. They do not say, well, you can't do this because you drive for us. Yeah. They have been 100 percent supported us. And Mr. Doug Kitchen. And Mr. Doug Kitchen has yeah. always came through. Yeah. And there's a host of others. We will be dedicating the next show to the ones we miss. So if I miss you, blame the head, not the heart. <laughs> but that we will get to you on our next show. That is no question about that. We want to thank Office Depot for some of the school supplies oh, yeah. they oh, have. Yeah. They, they have All the school supplies. Trojan Detail yeah. oh, was yeah. a big advocate for us. Um, John Bar Home Improvement. He was on Jeffrey's show and donated 25 bags right then. So we want to really give thanks to him. And against all odds, travel agency. We okay. want to give thanks to him also. And our Beatty Trucking, Troy, Alabama. Yeah. He gave us maximum support. They they gave us oh, support. He, yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah. He he do a lot. And the John R. Lewis Legacy Institute. Yeah. They have supported us oh, throughout. Man. And we want to thank John R. Lewis Legacy Institute for the 50 book bags that they donated to us from Pack for Kids. And the check. And the check. <laughs> we can never give enough appreciation for all of our donors who yeah, helped us. Yeah, yeah. And and that's one of the 
most important things is to realize that we cannot do this without help. We need the community help. We need organization help. We only five people. Now we can make a difference, but with the community, we can make a big difference. Big difference. And we want to make a big difference on the impact that we give to this community. And not only this community, communities outside of here, yeah. uh, Brundage, uh, Spring Hill, um, and you know we definitely gonna work Troy. That's yeah, no yeah, question yeah, about yeah. that. Troy, Troy, definitely. But we want to always let them know that we have your back yeah. because you've had ours. And we don't get here without you. I remember that we was driving in Miami. I think was, I was going to Miami, someplace I didn't want to go. Yeah. And man, you started talking, you remember this? You said, well, we need to start a Bible that we don't have anybody to preach. I said, what about you? Yeah, put me on the spot. Said, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I said, "Well, we all can do something." Yeah. As Joe Madison now say, "What you gonna do about it?" What you gonna do about it? it? So we have to show what we gonna do, and that's by going out in the community, not just talking about what we gonna do, yeah. being about what we gonna do, putting action, putting action to words, yeah. and we're going to continue that as long as we're here. We oh, always yeah. gonna put actions to words, and. We're just not talking. We work. We see work. it right there. The faith. We believe faith. in what we're doing. That's it. And we're going to work. We're going to work. Amen. And we're okay. going to continue working. Yeah. And that's what we do. And that's what our organization stands for. That's not a member or not a board member that's in our organization that does not believe into what we do. No, not one. And we will continue to because we will never turn our back on what we believe and what we stand for. Those three bricks is our foundation of what we stand for. Attainable living, mental, physical and mental health sustainability, and education awareness. We will never, ever turn back on that. This, this is our way of giving back. And this is our way of showing the community that we do care and we'll always be here and we're always going to be advocates advocates for this community and um, I'm gonna do an inspirational um, word right now and I, I read this and this really touched me it resonated with me when I read it and uh, the inspiration word is when God pushes you to the edge of difficulty trust him fully because two things can happen either he'll catch you when you fall or he will teach you how to fly. Amen. So that lets me know he's not going to turn up, put us in a position to fail. Yeah. He always going to show us how. And Adrian, I want you to talk about something for me because you know more about this. Yes, you know I know more about it. <laughs> <laughs> you see. But before I get into that, I think Alabama was robbed in the playoffs. I'm just going to be the first one to say it. Well, I'm, I'm just going to say I it. am I think, an Alabama fan. Well, but, you know, you got to win some games to get there. Well, the team they beat, yeah, got beat by the team. All you gotta do is be better you one day. That's all you gotta do is better one day. I just think we should have been in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down with that saying. But what I want you to talk about, and this is um very important to each and every one of us, is when you, the Christmas, you touch some presents to the church. Yeah, I want you to talk about how the impact that was to that particular church because they needed help. Yeah. yeah. It talk, tell and us a little bit about that. Ozark. I can't forget the name of that church. Mm -hmm. But the pastor is Pastor Cade. Um, I can't think of the name of that church, but I know it's in Ozark. Mm -hmm. And she she seen what we were doing. She was coming up here, because we know you didn't have to be present to get a book bag That's if right. you need a book bag. That's right. So um, she needed some, she wanted some two little kids, they twins. Mm -hmm. And they needed, um, she wanted to get them some toys. Mm -hmm. And we had some toys. Mm -hmm. And we took them down there and she just was telling me how to, and I went and visit that church too. And they gave yeah. me a thing. And how appreciate people's all. Just showing how appreciate that. They just, things like that warm my heart, make me feel good about. This let me know that what we doing is is the right thing to do. That's right. God is pointing us like what you mean. He either gonna teach, he either gonna mm -hmm. catch you, 
or he gonna give you wing, mm -hmm. teach you how to fly. Amen. So I, I'm just a firm believer that if God give you a vision, he always give you poor vision too. That's it. So so I, I that just it's just it's just so so many people that we don't help, and I get this feeling all the time how good it is. Just, just I, I forgot about them praise dancers right there. <laughs> I forgot about them. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, thought about it. They thought about Tuskegee. Oh, they did. Yeah, a, they yeah, did they a good Tuskegee. job. Did but good. yeah, yeah, it's it just that uh, she was just showing me how appreciated these kids was at church because it, it's only a handful of kids because they don't have a children church. That's okay. And 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 uh, to show somebody outside of the church Amen. to show some appreciation. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a good feeling. That was, and that was and good. is that not what we stand for? That's what we stand. That's for. what we stand for. And Faith you can work. follow us on. We have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, YouTube let's YouTube. talk about it. Ministry. Yeah, yeah. We got a YouTube channel, yeah. so you can follow us on YouTube. Um, we have a Zelle account. That's you can get with that three three four seven two two zero eight one three. And do you have some information over there you would like? Yeah, to give? yeah. And you can also the Zelle. You can go there. A night at let's talk about it ministry.org or you can catch app us the catch app handle with capital L, capital T, a capital A, capital I, and a capital N, and a lowercase I and N ministry. And you will see the let's talk about it logo up there. So, Amen. Uh, yeah. That, that's, and that's, I want to give a special thanks out to WTBF. Oh, yeah. He's that radio him. show, they him. always <laughs> comes through for us, they always allow us to be who we are. And they always welcome us with open arms. Yeah. And we also want to give a thanks to Troy Cablevision, Steve, the executive oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. director, right here, and right here. Dustin, the assistant executive director. So we want to make sure because they had to see the vision that we had yeah, to yeah, give us yeah, a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, give it this slot. And, yeah, and, yeah, and we're really thankful for that because we know that you don't go nowhere in life without... That, that's what tipped me. People say... I don't have friends. I don't see how you make it. Me and you, let's just be honest. Me and you don't see eye to eye a lot of time. Never but Alabama. <laughs> oh, that's about all. Alabama. <laughs> well, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about let's it. Make Alabama. the work out. Alabama. Yeah, so but, that. <laughs> but when it comes down to this, there's no disagreement. There's no, we all have the same agenda. I ain't you one time and you said, no, nah, I don't want to do that. That's it. Just like the logo that we that I sent you. Yeah. Hey, you pick it. You pick it. But we, you know, it's, when you in Montgomery, there's more than one way to get to Troy. So yeah. You don't have to always go the same path, but we gonna, we gonna come to the same point. We'll so same point. that's what it's about. When, when, when our group has five individuals, with individual, they all have their own individual personalities. Yeah. yeah. But none of them would disagree with what we stand for. Everybody's on board that this is what we do, how we do, and what we stand for. Yeah. And that's the most important part. You have to have a support system in place. And I'm and I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this one more time. I know you're gonna if Wiley Sanders was not supporting us, oh, no. we yeah. could not yeah. do what we're yeah. doing right now. Yeah. They are the main they spearheaded us. They directed us in the direction with House Daddy. Yeah. He's the one that uh, I learned we learned a lot from him oh, uh, yeah. watching him do truck talk for Wiley Sanders. Uh, he's given us great pointers, but it starts there. You have to have a company that has a support system in place that's willing to support you, whether you own their job or on your own, uh, on your own off time. Yeah. And without that, we could not be where we at now. So we also want to thank that. We also want to always give thanks to God Himself because without God, none of us is here. We we here because of, of Him, and we just always want to make sure that we give the proper appreciation to the people that deserve it, even though you might not see. Our board members, they all work and they work their tail off. And we cannot give enough thanks to Tarasha Pugh, Bidel McBride, LaVisha McBride yeah. for the contribution they give. And I got one more thing. Uh -uh. Say this right here, sir. Come so on. When y'all be seeing me reading text messages, it's from our <laughs> director, <laughs> from Mr. Tarasha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make she, sure. She's making so sure don't think about me. It's Texas. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, but, yeah go ahead. I just but, want to uh, let people know that. Oh, she, 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 she always, <laughs> she's the decision maker right now. So yeah, we ride. Yeah. But I wanted to give a, 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 a belated birthday to a very special woman, Annie Knight. Yeah, Her birthday was February the 9th. I oh, didn't okay. get them, but I want to say okay. happy birthday, Miss Knight. Uh, 81 years young. Oh, okay. 
So we just want to always. You got a granddad, a granddad yeah, that's 101, and what, 103? 102. 102. Mose Beatty. And that is a good, that's a milestone not many reach. Yeah, we really want to try to get him on. So we want to make sure that everything we do is in line for the what the three bricks, because those three bricks are our foundation. Yeah. If it do not align with those three bricks, it does not align with us. There you go. And that's the easiest way I can say it. Did Charles Anderson go anywhere this year? The uh, basketball? Yeah. Did they I don't know about basketball. I, Where'd I they go football? Really you know they went to uh, they, they, Oh yeah, 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 they went there. You know, you and Jerry went up there. Okay. All right, we're gonna let Adrian bring us out in prayer as he brought us in. Amen. Holy and gracious Father, we ask you, Father God, to touch right now that person, that individual, that group, that family member that has a vision that came from you, Father God. Get them the mean and send them on their way so they can make their vision come through. We just want to say thank you, Father God, for me and Knight, for trusting each other and believing in each other and feeding off of one another, other, Father God. We're just grateful, Father God, for this TV station, Father God, for the vision that they have to let um, Chuck Talk and Faith and Work Hour and other uh, groups and companies that they have coming on here, Father God. So we are thankful, Father God. We just want to give you all the praise and all the glory. Amen. Amen. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. Everybody have a good morning. And for my trucker friends, be safe out there and keep on rolling. Hey, what are you doing? I'm working underneath this truck. Oh man, can you work on diesel trucks? No, I can't. Do you know that wireless sandals will train you to work on diesel trucks? Really? In a shop. In a shop? A shop. My man, you made it. Yes, sir, I did. You came to Wireless Sandals to a shop. How do you like teaching this young man? I enjoy helping these guys be successful. So if they can work on a little truck, you can teach them how to work on a big truck. Yes, sir, we sure can. Come to Wireless Sandals Truck Line, where we'll teach you how to work on a big truck. Wallace Sandals Truck Line been in business since 1959 and we'll still growing. We've been in business since 1959 and we'll still growing. Wallace Sandals Truck Line. But 1959, we'll still growing. How many years is that, Mr. Glenn? Ricky, why this T680? Got a nice digital dashboard, easy to read. Man, Wiley Sandals Truck Line, we got competitive to pay. We got Blue Cross Blue Shield. We can get you home, Wiley Sandals. Come drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Line.